So in this tutorial we're going to cover adding the player information to your tagging panel. So this is where you might have a third layer of the event, so a kick out, a free, a shot, the outcome, whether that be on target, off target, and then you want to add some player information to that below. So I'm using quite a simple tagging panel here, but the process is exactly the same, nearly regardless of what your tagging panel looks like. So the first thing we do is click on edit to go into the panel editor and we'll just maximize this screen. Okay, so step one is on the left hand side under team management you have two group boxes here. So we want to drag the team group box, the blue button, so we click and hold and I drag that into the white space there just underneath my tagging panel. And you'll see now I have various properties which we'll come back to in one second. The other option is adding this, which you have to do is add this team manager box. So I can click and hold and drag that in there. The problem with adding it here is that it appears in my tagging panel. So for example, if we save this, you'll see there that this box appears in my tagging panel. Now I don't need it to appear in my tagging panel. I only need this one to appear which will fill with all the buttons. This team manager box is really just taking up space. So what I normally tend to do is I'll put it on a separate page. So I'll click to add page. I don't need to title it or give it a category or anything. I can simply just drag and drop the team manager into there. Okay, that's all you have to do for the moment. Click back to our main tagging panel. Now, the next step is to get this team group box to talk to the team manager we've added. So we click on it so it's highlighted in red and we'll just go down to the properties section here. So you've the label, which again you can change maybe to players. Uh, you have the style, so that involves the colour, so you have your six or seven different colours that you can choose from. Each one of those buttons will take the same colour. The other thing is the button type. So again, it can be any of the buttons that you, you would choose anyway. So it can be an event, a persist a value, a continuous event, or a normal value. So again, you'll have to figure that out when you're, con when you're devising your tagging panel, but picking one of those is, is obviously important. So by default, it will be a value button. The next thing we need to do is double click on team and we'll get a list of this. Now, the only thing you have to really worry about is finding the team manager box which is there. So it's all listed alphabetically and we just tick team manager and click OK. That's just linking this box with my team manager selector. Okay. Uh, next down is category. So again we might change that to player and if it was a if it's a value or a persist value you don't need to worry about the timing but obviously if it's a continuous event or an event you do need to worry about setting some timing parameters for that. So that's all we have to do in the editor window. We can close that down and save. So now we have a group box called players but it's empty. So in order to add the players we'll go to our untitled tab and the first thing you need to do is add a team name. So we do that by adding this green plus, the one on the far left. So we click that and we'll change the team name to United as an example. Okay, And then to add a player we use the single green plus and we just press that and we'll add in our players. Again you can change the name so you can do the name of the player or you can simply leave it as the number. So player 1, player 2, player 3 so on and I would repeat that process. The last thing is just tick the box of each player that's playing. So when I return to my game events, you'll see now that player 1, 2 and 3 appear. Why it's important to tick the box is if, for example, you name your squad of 20 or 30 players in some cases, and some players aren't obviously on the pitch, you can simply untick them and they won't then appear in your tagging panel. So I only have player 1 and 3, which means the clutter is a lot less on your tagging panel as you're tagging than it would be otherwise. So that's all there is to adding the team manager into your tagging panel.